The simplest type of vector arithmetic in R is just adding a number to a vector. Let's create a vector v of values 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. Then we'll add 1 to this vector. When we add a single number to a vector, it adds that number to each element of the vector. We can also do simple multiplication, which works in the same way. Things get a little trickier when you multiply two vectors where each are longer than length 1. Let's create a second vector called w that takes values 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. I've constructed this vector using a special notation of 2 colon 7, which generates a sequence of integers 2 through 7. This is a handy way to create a sequence of all integers between two values. Let's multiply v and w. Is that what you expected? R performs element-wise vector multiplication. That is, it will take the first value in each vector and multiply them. Then it will take the second value from each vector and multiply those, and so on. When working with vectors, R works in the same way when doing addition, subtraction, division, and other basic operations. Things get a little more confusing when we multiply vectors of different lengths. Let's overwrite w with a vector of length 2 that takes values 5 and 10. When we multiply v and w now, the result might be surprising. We get another vector with 6 elements. Let's take a closer look at what happened. The first two values make sense. They are again the element-wise multiplication. However, when we get to the third value, it appears to be the product of the third value of v and the first value of w. The fourth value is the product of the last value of v and the second value of w. What we've just observed is that r recycled the vector w so that it could complete the multiplication across the full length of v. It also did so without any warning or error. R is built to recycle vectors, and it doesn't always tell you when it does so. Let's do one more vector multiplication. We'll overwrite w one more time, and make it a vector of length 4 with values 5, 10, 15, and 20. Here this vector has been created using the sequence function. The first argument says where the sequence starts, the second where the sequence should end, and the third how big of jumps to take to get from the first to the last value. Here again, we multiply out v and w. r again will recycle w, but this time it gives us a warning. In this case, when r recycled w, it still had elements left over when it ran out of elements with v, so it wanted to make sure that we are aware of this. There are several ways we can perform arithmetic in r using vectors. We can raise every element in a vector to a power, or a different power for each element. Here I've again used the integer colon integer notation to create a vector of values 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Many functions also work nicely across vectors, such as the square root function. In the next video, we'll learn about matrices.